What's going on everybody? Resale Rabbit here. Um, this is my first live video on YouTube, so I don't know if I'm doing it right. Uh, nobody's watching it, but I literally just started, so hopefully you catch the beginning on the replay. Today was one of those days, we've all had them, that kind of sucked. I went garage sailing today and really didn't find much. In fact, I only bought items from, I believe, four garage sales the entire day. So, what's up, Jim PR? Um, hello, Flipper Joe. Hey guys, everyone's coming in now. So, I will recap. Not a good day today. I didn't find a lot at the garage sales. I only bought from four different sales, but it was also a fantastic day because two of those garage sales were absolutely phenomenal. Um, let me show you what I got. Let's start with the smaller sales. One sale, I might have bought from a couple more. One sale, I got these. I paid 75 cents. This is just sleeves for CDs or DVDs or games like this. They definitely come in handy. Whenever I send disc only games, I send them in one of these. Slap between a couple of pieces of uh, cardboard. I can't get it back in. So for, I think I paid a quarter for this. Um, can't go wrong. And then Wii Sports for 50 cents. Just. I hope I didn't just lose you guys. I got a phone call. Let me quick. Don't call. I'm on a live video. So, uh, no, my internet, Adam, didn't wig out. I got a phone call. Um, that's, and I got to stop messaging. All right, sorry, this is a very unprofessional video, but messing up the video. All right, hopefully you're good now. Anyways, I haven't sold this game in a while, but I keep buying them. I don't know what it's worth anymore. The reason I keep buying them is because the Wii console is now restricted, but there is a listing that I can sell that includes the bundle with this game and Wii Sports Resorts. So for 50 cents, definitely a good purchase. The next garage sale, I bought this Hanes Manual for 50 cents. It is a newer one, 97 to 2002. Florida Expeditions. I don't know, being that it's newer, people are probably using it. The 2012s, so I say 2002, I meant 2012. The 2012s are probably starting to get there, and the ones shortly before that. I mean, my van is a 2008 and it's falling apart. So if I knew how to fix things, I'd be buying the manual for it. Uh, I'd assume maybe 10 bucks. I didn't even look it up. Hands repair manuals, they're good. I got for five bucks, they wanted eight, I negotiated down to five. This Fitbit, it is factory sealed on the bottom as well. Can't really see it very well in the video. Five bucks, it's restricted on Amazon. Fitbit is, I did find an alternate listing that I can sell this on on Amazon, but I'm not going to because, well, it's against Amazon's rules. I think the technical rule is you can't create another listing to circumvent a restriction, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take the gamble just by being on a listing that could uh, end up problematic. So for the, what, 30 bucks I'd get for this, I'd rather just throw it on eBay for 20. I don't know what they go for. And I got this filter for a buck. It's like five bucks on Amazon. So those are the sales that I didn't find much. There are only two other garage sales that I bought from today. Let me show you the first sale. I'm gonna quick move this camera here and show you this box full of stuff, praying my phone doesn't fall. Um, I spent $58 on this garage sale. I will show you what all I got. I already added it to Inventory Lab, so I've got an exact number of what I'm going to get after fees. This coffee grinder, I paid $7 for it. I left the tags on so I can show you. I don't, remember what this, I don't remember what most of these go for, but I'll tell you what I remember, and then I'll tell you the total. I think it was like $40, bucks, $30. Bucks. Um, I got a pet thing, a casket that's supposed to be eco-friendly. Um, Someone just asked, how do I know whether or not an item can be listed? Let me pull up my Amazon seller app and pull up a restricted item and show you what it looks like when you can't sell it. Um, well, let's go with Fitbit. When you can't sell an item, that big emblem there that says restricted, uh, it says restricted product. That means you cannot sell it. Now there will be certain items, and this one might be a little difficult for me to think of something. Um, 
Let's just try Bose Bluetooth speaker. Let's see if that's a good example. Okay, here's a good example. Let me set this down. Now, when I look up this Bose Bluetooth speaker, it says right there that I can sell this in the used condition. But when I click new, there's a little triangle, a red triangle that says I cannot sell that. Um, if you click right there where it says selling eligibility, it will tell you what conditions you can and can't sell. I know it's not focusing very well. I'm trying to film a phone with another phone, but you kind of get the idea. If you play around with it, look up some products that you know are restricted. Um, Bose is restricted for a lot of people. Yes, the rabbit is live. Rabbit for president, I can live with that. Maybe I'll do better than the guy in there. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. One second. Hello. Well, that was awkward. I, um, middle of a live video, I got some mail. Um, signature required. So, that was a live video fail. But anyways, uh, back to it. I got pet casket. This is a um, biodegradable casket. I paid five bucks for it. I think I get like 30 after fees. There were a couple other ones. Uh, let's see, there's this one. I get a couple bucks for it, paid a dollar. Uh, this one right here, uh, paid two dollars. I think I get like thirty. Ah, uh, this little game. This is the most expensive thing I bought there. I paid ten. I get about thirty or forty. Um, bunch of home security items here, all different, all by this Sabre or Saber, Saber. A uh, whole bunch of this stuff. Paid about a dollar each. A couple were two dollars. Most of this stuff I'm paying like a buck each and selling them for five to eight dollars. This I thought was cool, it's a TV light simulator. You put it in your window and it looks like your TV's on. So I think that's interesting. Uh, a Cricut tool kit, it's for crafts, for paper cutting and whatnot. Uh, let's see, the Easy Tarp Tugger for pulling tarps when you're doing yard work. I got a couple of these. Shoe dryers, paid three dollars. I don't remember what I'm getting for them. Uh, and lastly, this is kind of weird, but they're like sandals. I'm, I'm assuming it's for when women paint their toenails. It separates the toes. Uh, I paid $4 for it. And there was no one on the listing, so I just priced it. Historically, it sold for 30 It had a ton of reviews, so I figured it's probably going to sell. Um, so I bought it. I think I listed it for 30 40 bucks. So, it is 18 different SKUs, 20 units, average sales rank of 96,000, which is a pretty good sales rank. Uh, the total sales value of it is $462, and after fees, I'm going to get $325.89. <clears throat> Someone says the products have dirty sounding names. I guess, uh, I guess I can, oh, this is really, electric shoe dryer, that's dirty. All right, anyways, no more jokes. Uh, after my $58 buy cost, that's $267 profit, and on top of that, I got myself a cutting board for my house. It was brand new, it was a nice, not silicone, but like a, a bendy, moldable plastic one. I put that at home. And I also got this iPod. It says it's broken. Uh, for three bucks, I'm taking the gamble. I can get at least 10 bucks on eBay. You can see the reflection on there. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's broken, maybe it's not. I've had a lot of things where I buy it, they say it's broken and it works fine. But if it is broken, you never know, maybe I can get a few bucks. So that is it for that. Now you're all here for the huge video game score. So I guess I can show you that before we end this video. What do you guys think? I wanna see some likes. Do you guys wanna see the video game store score? I don't care, don't like the video. I'm gonna show you anyways. That's why I'm doing this. So. Uh, Right here, Virtual Boy, box is in pretty good condition. I thought it looked fantastic.
the game or the system was in it. The system in decent shape. However, where is it? Right here, it's broken. So it does need a new stand. I can't imagine those are more than maybe 20, 30 bucks. So I am going to buy that. I think I should get about 150 to 200 for the Virtual Boy with the original box. And it's got, you know, all this stuff. It's got the manual. It's got, apparently I can get six free batteries. Uh, what else is in here? We got the, the controller. I've got the battery pack. So it's, it's basically, it, it's complete. It's in the box and it's complete. Now the listing, or I should say not the listing, the box here says it includes Mario Tennis, which is right here. And it's got the book as well. So I'm gonna bundle all that together and probably get between 150 and 200. Now with that was the AC adapter set. I don't know what it's worth, I didn't even look it up. It's in the box, the set, I'm gonna grab it here. It looks pretty good, original thing and everything. Um, I think the original price was $12.99 at KMB Toys. I don't know, 20, 30 bucks. I honestly have no clue, I'll have to look it up. Um, and we'll find out. And then, I did not say how much I paid. You gotta wait till the end for that. Games! Let's see, I've got Tellero Boxer. I'm probably pulling a raking and pronouncing that wrong. In the box, it's got the insert. So I can pull it out here. It's got the cardboard holder. It's got the, the books and everything. And actually the game, I can get this book back in here. The game, still in the plastic. Obviously it's likely used since the box is open, but it is still in the plastic. I got Galactic Pinball, and all of these have those, those white inserts and the instructions. Uh, I checked them all. I would never use Raken as my lifeline on a game show. Well, it depends what the game show is. If it's about diet fads, Raken is your man to call. But uh, if it's about pronunciation of cities and towns, I would not recommend using Raken as your lifeline on a game show. So, Galactic Pinball, uh, Nestor's Funky Bowling, it also complete uh, instructions and everything. I got red alarm complete with the instructions and the little white insert, they're all in there. Panic Bomber, I've never heard of any of these games. I didn't look them up, I have no idea. Panic Bomber, got everything in there. And then two more games, this, these are the exciting ones. Mario Clash, again, did not look this one up. But it's got the white insert, the instructions, everything is in there. And this one is probably the best one. This is the only one that I've looked up. Wario Land. $50 I can get for this game. At least that's what I think. This one is the only other one that still has, whoops, it still has the plastic on the cartridge. It's got the insert. And I'm sure this is, doesn't up the value a lot, but I'm sure you don't see it often. Um, every single one of these cartridges has this little plastic cover that goes on the bottom. Every single one has it. Shy of, I think, the Mario Tennis game that comes with the system. I think that's missing that piece. But all of this, I honestly don't know what I'm going to get. I really don't. Four or five hundred dollars maybe. Um, a buddy of mine, Justin, in the green room, I showed it to him first. Someone's, Jason says those games are worth at least 50 bucks complete in box each. And I've got seven complete in box, eight total games. So, I mean, that's 350 just in games if I can get $50 each if Jason's right. Um, let's assume Jason's right and I get $50 each for those games. That's $350. Uh, let's say I get another 30 for the AC adapter set, just spitballing numbers. I have no idea here. Uh, if I get 30 for that, then that's $380. Someone says you found an N, wow. Flipping Junk says you found an N64 in a free box yesterday at a garage sale. Always check the free boxes. I find some decent stuff, usually like Walkmans and stuff. Anyways, so we're at 380 with that. And then I sell the actual system with the box and everything for another 200. That would come out to $580 for all this. Now. I looked the Virtual Boy up on Amazon and it's about 160 bucks after fees on Amazon. That's without the box. 
So one thought might be to obviously replace the stand and then sell the system on, e or on Amazon, get my 160 and then sell the box on eBay. I did that with an Atari that I bought, I don't know, a couple of months ago in Milwaukee at a Goodwill. It was complete in the box and everything. Sold the Atari on Amazon for about 100 bucks and sold the box for about 40 on eBay. So, that was a pretty good score. Now, I want to see some guesses. What do you guys think I paid for it? Leave it in the comments here in the live feed. I want to see what you guys think I paid for it. My buddy Justin in the green room, I asked him the same question, and he thought I probably paid about 100 bucks. Uh, someone says 65, someone says 50, 50, 30, 10 dollars. Come on guys, it's $500 worth of stuff here. Let's get some realistic guesses in. 27, free box, I wish. Two, $82, 60, or sorry, 80, 1225, 125, 130, 150. So, the answer, I paid five bucks. I paid $5 for all of that. It was, they were asking 10, and I didn't know what this stuff was worth. This is one of the few video game systems that I've never sold, never possessed. I didn't know what it was worth. But I saw, I know it's old. I saw the boxes. I didn't even check to see if the games were there. I just saw the, ga the boxes for the games. I figured, you know what? Worst case, I can make my money back, make some money on the empty boxes. So I offered her five bucks and she took it. I, I'm in disbelief here. So, I spent probably, without actually physically doing the math in my head, around, oh, 75 bucks or so, and I should get like over a grand here. Well, not over a grand, but close to a grand for this stuff, probably about 800 bucks for everything. So I am just absolutely pumped about this stuff. It was an awesome haul. What's it worth? Well, I uh, went through it in the video. If you just started watching, you might want to replay it, but I should get over $500 just for the video game stuff. And then another $325 for some of the other stuff. Uh, Robbie, hello. Robbie keeps saying hi. Good to meet you, Robbie. So that's it for this video. Um, I really got nothing else around here to show you. Nothing else that's cool. But hope you guys liked it. That's two days with a video. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys later. Now I gotta figure out how to end this thing. Finish!